The new map Sunset is gonna be released soon, so I thought to myself that making a Lotus Lab video about the attacking smokes is gonna be helpful for all of you. Welcome to Lotus Lab, episode about the new map, and we're gonna talk about the attacking smokes. We're gonna go through A, B, and mid. How to do smokes on this map when you're on the attacking side, because it is not easy. I'm gonna be talking about Omen and Viper a little bit. Uh, Omen, because it's, you know, you can apply it to other smokes, while Viper is very unique, uh, and she is probably very playable on this map. So now, starting when, when it comes to A, a, before we go to the site, we have to go through a crossroads on A main. There's an orb over here, and then you have to either choose you're going to go left or you're going to go right. And is the price is going to be right? No one knows. But what is going to happen here? When the barrier drops, you're going to have an early gunfight with the players holding A because they're most likely going to be at the barriers and going to push into A main to refuse your orb control or sorry to deny your orb control. So typically what's going to happen, I'm assuming again, I'm making this stuff as I go, right? I'm trying to be an analyst here and I'm going to try to uh, predict what's going to happen with the meta game. But what I feel like is going to happen attackers are gonna do sorry defenders are gonna do a one way over here that's gonna be very hard for the defenders to go through this uh sorry it's gonna be very hard for the attackers to go through this one way from these defenders right when they're gonna hold it from here they can be then in this corner and literally hold all of your attacks so you have to be ready to counter this so now when you're gonna be attacking this a main you probably have to sacrifice one of your smokes or one of your mollies or w one of your flashes to make sure that you go through. So if you want to use smokes and to make certain that you have an easier time going through A main and this 50-50 angle here, you can use a smoke that will counter the one way, but also allow you to go for the orb and then push through the smoke if you wish so. So when it comes to smoking here, a smoke that can do both, right? Counter the one way and allow you to uh, check the other side of this A main, is going to be a smoke like this. The point of this smoke is, now you're going to be able to go for the orb, check the right side, and if you, you also counted the one way, because the player from here is not going to be able to see anything, right? But you can also go into the smoke, go out of the smoke from this side, check the, uh, check the corner over here, and then peek out of it to check the next uh, step of the um, A side hold, right? So we smoke like this, we counter the one way because of that. You're able to go here and check it without being exposed to the, to, uh, with your back. And then if you go into the smoke, you're able to go here, check the corner, and go into uh, into the top side. Oh, sorry, not top side. What is it called even? A-link. You can go into the A-link. And if you choose to go into A-link, another smoke that you can do is a smoke like this. I'm going to go a little bit higher to showcase how it looks. So what you're going to try to achieve here is very important is to make certain points of this smoke essentially benefit you. If you smoke like this, right here, you're going to be able to make sure that a defender that is in A-Link, if he wants to pick you from this smoke, he has to go through this catwalk area and not through this ledge because he needs to jump down from the ledge, which will make him briefly inaccurate so he have a chance of reacting to it. So it's easier to hold this smoke because the player coming out of here is, has a very, very narrow uh, exit. Now, if you go into the smoke, the smoke allows you, allows you to check this corner here in case someone camps it without being exposed with your back towards this, right? So when you do a smoke like this, you can go into the smoke. If you have a phantom, you can clearly just shoot this area. The player here is going to get affected. And if the player wants to peek out of it, if he's going to jump down, he's going to be briefly inaccurate. And if he jumps out of the smoke into this area, well, not many spaces that he can be at, right? So this helps you to go onto the site. Now, when you go onto the site uh, from the other, um, what is it called? From the elbow, from the elbow area. Now, here, you probably will not sacrifice any of the smokes on this area. It doesn't really give you much. You can maybe think about doing a smoke like this in case you want to go through a main area and you want to go with the same kind of purpose, like checking the angle over here and then going out, but it doesn't really do much. If you want to go to the left side and you want to sacrifice one smoke early, you can also just do this kind of smoke, right? When you start the round, 
to make sure that you're not you're gonna have an easier time checking the left side and the players from this um from this angle will not see you but the problem is as i said there's most likely gonna be a one way so this smoke is not gonna be very efficient now when you go to side though from the elbow area you literally have only one thing to smoke here and that's this you have to be aware that someone can be on top of the box, right? That's something that you just have to check. Uh, but this smoke allows you to go onto site uh, without being exposed to the rotators from spawn of the opponent and then go to site. Now, the default plant for this site is going to be this corner because this corner is not affected by the players from CT because they cannot spam this box right here when you're, when you're planting. Like, even with this angle, you're not able to hit the player that is hiding behind this wall right so the corner here this is gonna be the plant in this spot and if the player comes out of the a link well then if you're going from the elbow you're not doing a split well then you smoke like this essentially and now your job is to hold the planter right this is where you have to hit, to hold when your body is planting in this corner uh and then someone else from your team is holding this exit just in case they push out and try to deny the plant so that's uh that's the a side and uh bonus let's talk about viper how to play viper on a side i think she has a great setup potentially and i already made some lineups for you to use so at the barrier you're gonna stand at the barrier right here and you're gonna make few steps forward so you aim to the floor press shift you go forward till the moment that your crosser goes on this line here of this um tile on the ground when you have this you're going to do a wall with your crosser aiming at this spot. Like where the barrier meets the wall, but a little bit more to the left. So like this. And then you can do a smoke from the same area. Uh, when the barrier drops, we're going to aim in a very specific spot. So right here, when I'm aiming with the red dot, right here. We, oh, turn off the wall here. Right here in that spot where I showed with the crosser, you're gonna put your fuel bar with that line here. And then jump throw. And it should land over here. Like this. So now what does this achieve? The wall allows you to go through this first area of the map for the orb without being exposed and countering the one way to check into tiles right so that's one thing that it does it uh, does it uh, that it achieves then if you go into tiles when you're on the uh, on the side it will cover your um a link area right when you go onto site so it allows you to be actually used in post plant and in pre plant as well because as you can see it helps you to control the site and then it helps with the rotators on the box and also on the backside. Now, this smoke right here doesn't have to be used, right? Doesn't have to be used at all. But it is something that you can have. So I wouldn't recommend using this orb even at the beginning of the round with this wall. But it's a possibility to use this. Now, one more cool thing about this wall is that when you're planting in the default spot and you activate this wall... And someone wants to go and defuse it he's gonna get fully blinded by the wall if he hugs the wall and otherwise he has to be more in this angle over here fully exposed and many people will be caught off guard because this essentially is an additional blind like an omen flash or something like that and of course also affects the dk right so not only helps you in post plant but also helps you with literally the player that is on the spike so that's very, very effective. Now, uh, let's go to B area. Now, B area, when it comes to the, um, to the Viper, I feel like there's, there, are two, there are two possibilities. You either do a wall from uh, the beginning of the round that goes something like this. But unfortunately, it's not very effective because it allows your opponent to take space from the default. But... It allows you to deny the info from the player from market and from this area of B. 
But the problem is, when this wall is up, a defender can stand behind this wall right here and shoot into the choke point without being noticed with a phantom. So that's one problem. But that's the, the wall that I would probably propose to use if you don't want to go into B main when the barrier drops and you want to be like a mid lurker or anything, right? But if you're not a mid lurker, then, um, then what you can do is you can do a wall by standing in B main over here by doing something like this. This is very similar to a wall that you could use on split. So essentially like wall like this, which achieves the same similar thing by cutting off the corner from the right side so you can more clearly check the cubby on the left. And also the player from default is affected more clearly because he, he doesn't have an easy way of picking out unless he's literally in this corner, but that requires someone actually adapting to your wall. Now, when it comes to other characters, let's say we're playing Omen. And we're going into, into B. Remember that this area here, we're going to have to go first through this area over B. Because there's an orb on the left side, right? So there can be a smoke uh, that is going to be needed like this. To go through this area early. Unless you use your paranoia or like other flashes and so on. Because you want to leak out of this smoke and just check this area over here and battle for the orb. Now, I would prefer to save my smokes and use the flashes over here, right? Because B-side is terrible to take. And there are a few possibilities of smokes that I would recommend here. The most important smoke will be in this spot. Right here, this denies the info from the player from sight, from B-Market. But remember, there's a wall that an opponent can stand here. But probably not going to happen often. But there is a possibility that someone can be here and will see you. So just pay attention to that. But the most important thing is denying the info from the market itself and from the top of the B-side. You can check this corner by hugging this wall, right? And then this corner by hugging this wall when someone else checks the other corner. So a lot of teamwork necessary. Now, the second smoke is going to be even more important. So when this smoke is up, you're going to have to set up a smoke in this general area. There are two options that I recommend. One is going to be the default smoke, like this, which essentially achieves the same as the Viper wall that I explained. So player peeking out of the default doesn't, doesn't have an easy time of dealing with you because he's going to get exposed. Now, the problem is that this doesn't help when someone stands here. right? So the other possibility is very similar to what we typically have been using on split, is a smoke like this. So when you're taking this space, right, we have two smokes like this, one here, one here. You can more clearly check the angles left, right when you go out of the choke point, and you can go onto side without being fully spotted. Now remember, this is a different side than split because it has the plantable area in front of it, which is very important. Otherwise, this side would have been terrible to fight for. But because of this area to plant here, you have a possibility of planting early without fighting for this area over here. But typically, I would actually recommend to fight for this backside because otherwise you're going to have a terrible time planting. And now when it comes to planting on this map, on the B side, there are two spots that I consider defaults. Now, it's actually a possibility that many teams and ranked players as well were going to use Sage to make it easier for them to plant. Because one of the default plants would be here, which is very hard to do without the wall on the right side here, think of it as bind on A side, when players from showers can literally just kill the player at the truck. It's very similar position, right? So you need the sage wall here to make sure that you are able to plant. So that's one of the defaults. And then the other default would be over here. You're literally planting in the middle of this corridor, right? Like this, and then the plant goes under this wall so you can plant, sorry, you can play post plant in this position, and you're not, ex like, you're not visible when you're planting because you're in the middle of that corridor. So you cannot get killed from here, and you cannot get killed from here, and your teammates just have to hold this area when you're not getting, when you're getting planted. But because of that, you most likely have to get the control of this area first, right? Or use the sage wall again in front of you to plant in this position. So planting on B-side is going to be a huge challenge if you don't have a Sage or 
you don't aggressively fight for the backside control, which is your objective. This area over here is the objective of the attackers to get. So that's very important. Now, when it comes to mid though, mid is a very interesting and peculiar area because it all depends on what the defenders are going to do. Are they going to aggressively play into mid, be hide behind this small wall and play in, in, in the door area? Or will they just be on the top of the site? So from the de defender's perspective, I would say the meta choice will be either smoking you like this. This is going to be the first smoke that happens in the round, right? Or a one way that is going to be put uh, here on this wall mm, that I have a problem sometimes finding because I'm not yet experienced on this map. Give me a second. Oh, here we go. Like this. So now this smoke, this one-way smoke, that didn't work for some reason, even though it was a red, uh, green arrow. So this smoke, let's do it this way. So this smoke over here, that's not this one as well. Oh my god, this is terrible. This is gonna ruin my video. Alright, this should be it. Yep, this is it. So this one-way smoke allows you to like hold this angle over here without being fully exposed and the, the the attacker needs to like crouch to see you right so this is this might be a meta choice if you're playing omen or brimstone uh i'm not sure if astra can do it you would have to check but that's a one possibility right so now you have to think how do you counter that and if you're playing smokes on mid i have few propositions one the most basic one of course it's this one like you just want people to not pick you from top mid Right, so you make a smoke like this. Uh, you can actually f move it forward a little bit here, so the players are, are like stuck in the stroke point, like this, in case they peek, so they don't have an easy way of getting out, and they can get easily killed. So that's probably the one I would recommend. Right, the other smoke would be like this. So you deny the vision from top mid. You can get easier picks into this area over here. And if you go from tiles, this smoke also helps you to check top mid without being exposed to the uh, market area from B. Now, all of this really depends on the defenders, because if the defenders are holding from this small area, this smoke over here can help them. Now, we can't really do much about it, you just have to be aware of it, right? So be aware of this player that can hide into the smoke, and just don't, don't think it's always clear. So the mid area is a little bit tricky, uh, but it's going to be pivotal to attacking this site because attacking this map because it can funnel to both into B market for the other entrance of B, right? And then it can also trickle into a lurk towards A link if you go to mid top. The map is actually giga complicated, but has a lot of choke points, so that's going to be a problem because it requires a lot of mobility. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this guide and see you next time.